And Joshua had already received the men of God. Now, folks, there was two things that had to happen. It was time for them to go in. But also now God had a believer on the inside. Amen. She didn't know uh, God in a covenant relationship yet. But she had faith in God. And even so much she'd acted to hide the servants of God. And God wanted her to know Him. Amen. So we've got people on the outside that need to get inside. And we've got people inside that need to get outside. So the walls have got to go. The walls have got to go. Amen. The people had to get on the inside. But God's always got a plan to get in. Praise the Lord. As I said, the Canaanite gods were supposed to be looking after Jericho. And the soldiers were up on those mighty big walls. But God told Joshua exactly what to do. He said, you get the priest, you tell him to bear the round horn and take the Ark of the Covenant with them. And for six days, I want them to march around that city one time. Amen. I want them to blow those round horns to tell the people not to say anything. Amen. It happened first morning. I can just see them as they rolled out. And those guards, those watches set on the walls of Jericho looked out that probably the dawning of the day. They broke town. Amen. The Ark of the Covenant and the priest here they came. Amen. Suddenly the people wasn't saying nothing. It was quiet. But you heard them marching in rank. Amen. They were doing what God said. God doesn't bring victory sometimes all at once. But I do believe that every one of you tonight, if you'll do what God wants you to do, He's going to let you in your walk with God, amen, get into where they're so not and be able to bring them out that they might know God. They're locked up in a tight place. Amen. They saw the hand of God to my Jordan. They saw the miracles of God. But now God was going to use them to bring those walls down. Amen. I saw so many people in their walk with God. They saw God saved. They knew they're saved. They know they're saved. They've seen God do great things in their life. But yet as far as really being used, amen, to bring somebody else into the family of God, they've never really done that a lot. They've had fears. They've had doubts. They've had reservations. Amen. Some people tonight have things, you know, that, uh, that they wanted and they've never been able to get and they know they're real and they know they're driving, but they've never thought they were worthy or they never thought they could have it or they never thought they could do it. But I'm here to tell you tonight, amen, that if you do what God tells you to do, you can not only be saved, but you can be sanctified, you can be holy on field, you can be healed, you can be a soul man, you can be a missionary, you can be whatever God wants you to be. You can be mighty and stand tall in God, and then you don't have to have a good name. All you got to have is the blood of Jesus applied to your heart and heal the Christians of God. People will tell you real quick they're saved. But you go to the mountain of salt against the walled city. Amen. The not many wants to go. But we got to get that faith back. I said, we're going down the whole stretch. It's time to go on in now. It's time to go on in. Present what God said was ours. you got to remember what the Lord said. It was straight, uh, straight to shut up. But the Lord said, I've given into thine hand Jericho, and I've given you the king and the mighty men of battle. All you've got to do is just do what I tell you to do. So here they started marching. Amen. They broke camp, started marching. One day, amen, they put up, never seen said anything. Two days. They've done the same thing. Amen. Three days. Four days. Finally the sentries on those walls. The king was staying in constant contact with them. No doubt. What are they doing now? Are they trying to throw ropes over the wall? Are they trying to climb the walls? Amen. Are they shooting at you? Are they, are they trying to uh, get at you with a spear? They're not doing nothing, king. Amen. All they're doing is marching. Never seen nothing like it. Every now and then there'll be one old ground horn go off, but it kind of sends Hallelujah. Kind of sent goosebumps coming down my neck every time they do it. Amen. But oh, I've never heard a word of it at least four days. And the king said in the morning, you be there when day breaks. They're about to do something. I know they're going to come in over the north wall, the south wall, the west wall, the east wall. I don't know what, but they're going to try to come over the walls. And I want you to be there. Well, they doubled his century. The fifth day, it was the same thing. They marched. They marched. Y'all preach with me tonight. Amen. They never crossed the ranks. Amen. They never questioned Joshua. They were not asking no question. They had their mouth shut. Just like he said. Every now and then the brown swords would go off. Hallelujah to God. Six days. They put up that night. Amen. And the men said, well, boys, 
We spent a week almost here, and tomorrow we're going to find out what all this is about. They broke camp, amen, that next morning. I believe especially early. He said today we're going to do a different thing. So God said today we're going to go around seven times on the seventh day. That means it's going to be 13 times. Anybody ever said 13 times? Lucky, never read the book of Joshua. Amen. They broke camp. They marched around once. They marched around twice. They marched around three times. Some of you, God told them to take great camp and get up march and begin to work for Him. And you question why. And you said, I had so many come together yet. God, what are you doing? I'm not able. I'm just a, this man or this lady. Who am I? But God said, just keep marching. And keep doing. There's somebody in there you want to bring out. That's something you're going to do for me. But you've got to be willing to keep fighting. It's the church's time. Amen. To reap the harvest. If we don't reap it now, we're going to leave it in the field because the reaper is coming. Hallelujah. To carry it on. The crops are going to be left in the field if we don't get them real soon. Amen. They went around five times, six times. But on that seventh time they started, something special now. They've been at it probably took quite a while. Amen. If that historian was right already after eight acres, they went around it uh, six times already. That meant they covered 48 acres of land. The all marks in his rank, the priests blowing their horns. And, amen. Everything going on. It was coming on late in the day. Hallelujah. But they said, we're going to go one more time. And they went one more time. They started around those walls. And as they started around those walls, amen. Even the Bible said when they made that seventh time that the ram's horns were blown. And finally the man of God, Joshua, told them to shout. Amen. For the Lord has given you the victory. When they begin to shout. Amen. The Bible said here in Joshua chapter number 6. Joshua said to the people, shout. For the Lord has given you the city. And the city shall be a curse. Amen. They shouted, brother. And the walls fell down with a great shout and the wall fell down flat so that the people went into the city. Every man straight before him and they took the city. Amen. Everything was destroyed. God said I want you to destroy everything. Don't spare anything but the Rahab and her family. That's all. But he said now the gold and the silver and all those other things you're not to take it but you're to bring it back and we're going to put it in the Lord's treasure. Hallelujah to God. Won't that money to go in the treasure. Amen. I know what went. If it had a, a fund, it went in the general fund. You say, how do you know that? Because it didn't have a building fund. The reason was, God said to Joshua, when he was about to leave this world, Joshua said to the people, I've given you vineyards you didn't plant, and I've given you cities you didn't build. They didn't need a building program. God said, I'm going to let other people build the building. If you're going to live here, all you need to do is do what I tell you to do. I'm going to let everything be on. The name of the Lord. Those walls fell flat. Here come Rahab out. Here come her family out. Here came all her loved ones out. Amen. And all that family, Rahab was a Gentile. But if you read in the first chapter of the book of Matthew, Amen. She married and, and grouped up with a Jew. And she is in one of the direct line of the ancestors of the Lord Jesus himself. Amen. Amen. Don't tell me the blood of Jesus can't take a black heart and wash it in red blood and make it. Amen. God kept going to do all things. Amen. Those walls had to come down. Amen. That the Canaanite would know one thing. That they didn't have a God that was big as Jehovah God. And they didn't have a city that was big enough to hold back the mighty hand of God. I'm glad we're all gathered here in this revival. It's a beautiful crowd tonight. Amen. But you can have a gathering most any place. Amen. We can spread dinner on the ground. We can pull up a bunch of wagons and have a barbecue. There are fish fried tonight. Amen. I love to cook fish myself. But I'll tell you